So back here in our test file, we can actually see the test that that we're running. So you can see that we pass on one test, and we can see that we've actually instantiated a namespace, which is something that's new and as of 5.4, maybe 5.3, I'm not sure. And we can see we're using a, an assertion. So usually there are three parts to a test. First is arrange, second is act, and a third is assert. And so what we need to do is we can create a new test. We can see that one test is already there, but what if we want to create another one? So the way we do that is all we need to do is public, just like above, function test uh, it works or something. I use camel case because that's usually the default syntax. So now we can go, for example, this, which is saying whatever you're testing, assert equals, and then say then one is equal to one. Now, if, if that's the case, then testing works. We'll try to run that again, and hopefully we'll see that two tests are there. So yes, two tests are passing. If we change this to one, one, four, hopefully it would fail. So we can see here, one is not equal to four, and we can actually see that information right here. And it'll take us directly to that test that failed. So that's pretty cool. Now we can see that testing works. Now, just a quick note here. If you want to be, if you want to create a new test, you have to make sure that it starts with the word test. If you have something like this, it works. It won't even find that test. So let's see, once again, now we're not getting anything failing, but we should be. So once again, it has to be called test at the beginning. It has to be prepended.